students welcome to maths class in today's maths class we will start a new chapter that is graphical representation of data which tells us how to visualize data graphically friends before starting with graphical questions first of all let's have a look on the objectives of today's class today we will learn how to draw histogram when data starts from zero this is case number 1 case number 2 when data does not starts from zero but gap is same students in our junior classes we have done different types of graphs from these different types which we have done first type is bar graph bar graph is also known as column graph second type of graph which we have done that is line graph third graph which we have done so far is pictograph in which we draw pictures fourth one is pie chart that is circular shape of graph fifth which we will do today that is histogram so students today we will talk about histogram in today's class these both types we will discuss later on first of all let's have a look how to draw histogram students before learning that how to draw histogram i want to tell you the definition of histogram so what is histogram histogram is a graph that represents a frequency distribution class interval will be given to us histogram represent that frequency distribution the width represents the interval and the height represent the corresponding frequency and there is no space between the bars students see the sample of histogram this will be one l shaped graph as we have done bar graph difference between bar graph and histogram is this that in bar graph between the bars there is distance there is space but in histogram there is no space between the bars this is the first point related to histogram and the width this width tell us about class interval and the corresponding height this height tells us about the frequency before starting the plotting of histogram we must keep these things in our mind that are axis horizontal line is known as x axis vertical line known as y axis see this sample this is the horizontal line which i told you just now this line is known as x axis and this vertical line this line is known as y axis so before starting the plotting of the point we must write here y and here x second thing which we must keep in our mind is origin what is origin origin is the intersection of x and y axis here this is the point of intersection of y axis and x axis so this point is known as origin third thing which we should keep in our mind is scale that is along both axis means what is the gap along both the axis as here i have mentioned the scale along x axis and y axis next thing is information along both axis first column will come along x axis and second column will come along y axis students what is the information which i told you this first column this column will come on x axis and this second that is number of students this column will come on y axis students before drawing the graph we must follow one condition that condition is data must be in continuous form that is class interval must not contain any gap for example class interval must be 0 till 10 10 till 20 20 till 30 30 till 40 etc it means from where this class interval ends from that number only next class interval must start so this is the first condition for drawing graph students see statement number 1 statement is draw histogram by using following data class interval is 0 till 8 8 till 16 16 till 
24 till 32 and 32 till 40 and the corresponding frequency is 6, 9, 12, 10 and 5. Now students, by using this data, we will draw histogram. Students, as I told you that before drawing the graph, the thing must be kept in mind were x-axis, y-axis, sleeping line is known as x-axis, standing line is known as y-axis and the intersection of both is known as the origin. So here we will write 0. Corresponding information along both the axis. Here we will write class interval along x-axis and here we will write frequency along y-axis. Now next thing we must keep in our mind is scale. See here we are having gap of 2 to centimeter. So that's why we will write 2 centimeter is equals to. Here in between class interval we are having gap of 8. So I will write 8 units on x-axis. If there is written class interval and frequency in information in scale we will use the word units. And here also along y-axis gap of 2 units so we will write 2 cm is equal to 2 units on y axis. Now students after writing all these things we will do the plotting of bars. So let's see now how to plot the bars. We will draw a bar on 6 as first frequency is 6. Second frequency is 9. So second bar we will draw till 9. So this is the second bar. Now students after 9 we are having frequency as 12. So here we will plot till 12. So here as you can see here I am having 12. So we will draw a bar till 12. Now after 12 next frequency is 10. So next bar will be till 10. Here join it till 10. After 10 we are having frequency as 5. So here we are having 5 in between 4 and 6. We will plot 5 and we will join it. Now students this is the first type of histogram. Students see the second statement. Statement is Draw histogram for marks 10 till 20, 20 till 30, 30 till 40, 40 till 50, 50 till 60. And number of students means the frequency is 7, 9, 12, 8 and 6. Students here we can see that here data does not start from 0. It starts from 10 and next gap is of 10 of each class interval gap is of 10 and if we see this gap from origin gap of 10 from origin is also 10 so here data does not start from 0 but gap from the origin and the other class intervals is same so this is the second type of histogram as we have done in the previous graph first of all write y-axis origin x-axis information along both the axis here information is marks and number of students so in scale also we will write 2 cm is equals to 10 marks on x-axis because this gap is of 10 so here we will write 10 marks on x-axis here we will not write units because marks are given to us so we will write marks here and here students are given to us so here we will write 2 cm is equals to 2 students on y-axis. Now we will do the plotting. First bar it will be till 7 and we know that 7 lies between 6 and 8. So here we will leave this space blank and we will draw first bar from 10. 10 till 20 and the corresponding frequency is till 7 which comes between 6 and 8 so it will come in between this dark line here 7 will come 
Next is 9. Same way 9 will come in between 8 and 10. Here 9 will come. So here next bar of 9 and we will join it 20 till 30 till 9. So this is the second bar. Now come to the third bar. It is still 12. So here we are having 12. So from here start and join it like this. This is the bar number 3. Continue in same way. We will get our histogram. Join all the bars because there must not be any gap like bar graph in between the bars. We will join all the bars together. Last bar is still 6. Here I am having 6. So here 50 till 60 and the frequency is 6. So students this is the second type of histogram. And I hope that both cases are clear to you. And now you will be able to draw histogram yourself. Thank you and have a nice day.